Buddy, it's Ryan here, and I greet you in the awesome and powerful name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to our 12th mnemonic in internal medicine. Today we're breaking down signs and symptoms of multiple sclerosis. And in the words of Sherlock Holmes, it's elementary, dear Watson. All right, but first let me tell you a few cheesy jokes. Why was the neuron sad? Because he got fired. And I asked my neuron why he seemed so anxious. He's replying, I am just a nervous cell. <laughs> All right, so we know that multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune demyelinating disease affecting the central nervous system. It can run a variety of different clinical causes, being relapsing, remitting in 85% uh, at presentation. Some people have the primary progressive form of the disease, which represents 15% at presentation. Some have a secondarily progressive and a progressive relapsing. But the main thing is the symptoms and signs that are disseminated in time and space. Uh, that is more than one episode involving more than one area of the CNS based on clinical findings and or MRI as per the device McDonald criteria. And it's characterized by periods of exacerbations and remissions, right? So an easy way to remember the clinical signs and symptoms, uh, the patient often presents with weakness, right? Ataxia and tremor. As scanning speech and nystagmus speaks to cerebellar involvement. But the big seller for multiple sclerosis really is optic neuritis. All right. So once again, just remember Watson as clinical features, weakness, ataxia, tremor, scanning speech, optic neuritis, and nystagmus. God bless you and have a wonderful day. I'll catch you tomorrow with another handy mnemonic.